right. Shalom, soldier. Most high in Christ. Bless. Shalom, most high in Christ. Bless. Why did you join IUIC? Well, I joined IUIC. Uh, it actually wasn't a pick for me. Like, I wasn't looking at other camps. I learned everything. I learned everything from IUIC when I first came and visit uh, on the Sabbath. Um, I didn't grow up in a Christian home or, you know, in a Christian uh well, I had to go to church every Sunday, so I, I really didn't know anything about the Bible. I was following, uh, at the time, I was following just conscious, conscious, you know, the conscious community. Um, any Anything that was, you know, pretty much teaching about black is right, uh, the, empowerment, the empowerment of black people. That's what I was going with. That's what I was listening to. I never really knew about the Bible, so uh, me and my rib, we found it, uh, I see when we was at home. She was into the whole church thing and the Bible thing, so she got to see other camps, and when she found it, IUIC, that's when she decided to tell me about IUIC. Um, so once I got to watching the videos with her, and I had heard a few things or whatever uh, in the Bible um, about us being uh, the lost tribes, you know, the Israelites, uh, the Jews, things of that nature, you know, that in uh, that, that impelled me to come in. But I wanted to learn more, so I came to the Sabbath. I visit um, everything they was hitting on uh, the officers that was teaching at the time. I, t I had my notes. You know, it was so foreign to me because I didn't even know how to find the book of, you know, uh, book of Jeremiah. You know, I was taking a while just to find books in the Bible because I wasn't used to learning the Bible. We were used to reading the Bible, so. Um, when I heard the word, and that's, you know, the things that the, uh, the Jews was black in the Bible, uh, the Israelites went into slavery because they broke God's commandments. All this stuff was new to me. You know, I never, uh, I never heard any of it. So pretty much that was my first teachings. So when I came in, I was, you know, it, that, that's what it was. Like, that's what my lawyer, my loyalty was with because I never heard any other teachings, no other doctrines. Uh, I was new to the Bible, so that's pretty much why I joined IUIC. How long have you been congregating with IUIC? Um, I've been congregating with IUIC um, going on three years now. Yeah, it's going on three years and we got the past almost. What made you decide to look for the most high? Uh, what made me decide, pretty much I was just looking for uh, just answers in the world, you know, in life about who I was, uh, what is required of me, um, just things that was happening in the world, you know, was it a God, what do we supposed to do to serve God, I always heard, you know, in the Christian church, you know, about the Ten Commandments and everything, and, uh, you know, that what I, what I was doing, I found out that I was doing some things that, that was in the Bible that I was already doing, not keeping uh, God's laws. Like for example, I was growing a beard, which I didn't know at the time before I read the, uh, before I was taught the scripture. But I was cutting into my beard, but I still had a beard. You know, I married my my girlfriend at the time. I, I married my wife. You know, I was already married. You know, I was I had a job. I was working. You know, was the, the scriptures teach that uh, as a man, that, you know, we're supposed to provide for our family. So these things that I was doing, that's why uh, when I heard the scriptures, it just got me super, more super excited about uh, learning the truth. What scripture sealed the deal for you to walk in the truth? Uh, that's a couple of scriptures that I heard that sealed the deal. Uh, one of them, I would say all the curses. All the curses, Deuteronomy 28, uh, verse 68, uh, verse 48, just things of that nature that uh, that made me, that tied it pretty much to let me know that I was Israel because of the curses that uh, some that we go through today still and also with my ancestors and dear, I always knew about slavery and uh, black people went into slavery. That's what I always knew, I always learned, what was taught to us, but I never knew why. Like, and I always ask myself like, okay, why? Why did, you know, us go, why did we go into slavery? Why are we on the bottom? Why do we live in uh, the worst neighborhoods, how the worst school, you know, that lives in the worst conditions? So that's... What makes you continue to stay with IUIC? Uh, pretty much what makes me continue to stay with IUIC is the unity, the 
brotherhood. I love being around amongst the brothers, um, the, uh, the leadership. Um, they, they teach right, you know, uh, anything that, uh, that I have a question on, they, you know, they don't stray away from the word. They teach nothing but the Bible, you know, what it says, do, you know, we're keeping the commandments. So for me, for, for me spiritually, that's, that's good for me because as we are, we are trying to get right. So that's why I'm here. Quote your favorite scripture. Uh, Song of Solomon, uh, I am, I am uh, black becoming. That's one of my favorite scriptures. One of them. I like, got a lot of few favorites. <laughs> That's the one I can quote. Now that you see the treatment of God, we are not black men, we are Israelites. Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.